themes that might be coming up for you um, in terms of your love life, relationship, personal life um, as a whole and what uh, lessons or advice we might be picking up within the reading. So without any further ado, let's go to the reading. By the way, um, we're looking at the different spread from last month. And this is um, the energy of what's going on with you at the present moment and what's how is this um, turning out, you know, something that that might be tuning in in the very soon kind of phase. And this is going to be the overall outcome of the, um, the month and situation. Over here, we do have some um, uh, theme cards, I would call it. Uh, this basically gives us more insight and details to... To the reading uh the things that we might not be aware of all of those information and over here i do have my uh, i call it my twin flame love notes and this is basically giving us information and like a like a, a jigsaw puzzle of information about uh feelings or messages um pertaining to our love life and relationships um you know, could be things that might be coming up, could be things that we know or we don't know. So that's basically the gist of what we are going to be looking at this month. So let's begin. We are starting off with the Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. This is more of a, a whenever there is a Page of Pentacles, you know that, you know, you are, there's something within the month that you are hoping to achieve you know when the page of pentacles shows up in the reading there is a form of i would say planning and hard work there is something that you are looking forward to something that you wanted to do but at the same time i kind of feel that this could be a situation wherein it's very important that you have foundation into your own belief into your own goals the things that you want to have in your life it could also be um, if this is a relationship it could be that you are taking a closer look on the relationship or love life that you have um, and with these two swords over there this is really more of maybe you are contemplating on whether this relationship is still good for you or not you know when the two of swords is there um, it makes me feel as if you have your own uncertainties into the relationship or with a particular person or a situation. And maybe this is a point wherein you are literally closing off your eyes and ignoring the red flags into a situation. Or this could be a situation wherein uh, you might be um, thinking or weighing things out, you know about your love life you know making a decision um finding answers having some form of conclusions into the matters of your heart and i kind of feel that um for many of you you are going to be ignoring things you know gloss glossing over things i would say um and this could be an element wherein you are going to prioritize the history that you have with a particular person. You know, it's like choosing a safe path rather than risking anything. You know, all for the sake of love, <laughs> all for the sake of the relationship. And um, it is something, it's not something to to fret about or blame yourself about because i truly believe that there are things that are worth it you know i'm not saying that your situation is worth it i'm not saying that the person that you are working on is worth it or not um because <laughs> this is the general reading i just kind of feel that for a lot of you guys this is going to be the action that you are going to take, um, whether that leads to a positive outcome, whether that leads you to regretting it or what, um, whether that is going to be something 
appreciated by your partner or not is a different story. So I just want to put that out there, you know. So this is going to be your action regardless of the circumstances and regardless of what the other person is going to do, say, or not do or not say, and all of those kinds of things. So you are going to choose the high road. You are going to choose to forgive because maybe you love them. And, um, you know, even though that maybe things have been quite rocky in your life, you are going to be at the position wherein you are going to forgive, you're going to understand. And it has a very martyr energy, if you would ask me, um, wherein you are, you know, um, ignoring, ignoring some areas of your life wherein, you know, you have you you are basically a hard worker and sometimes people don't really appreciate you and even though you feel bad about that or even though you have your own complaints it's not as if you are you are asking or demanding anything either so it has that form of energy it's like you're just ignoring the things that are not working into the situation so we are picking up that energy this can also be a situation wherein maybe you want to have a new beginning there is something that you want to bring into your life for some people this is about you wanting to have a relationship you're wanting to form a partnership with someone and you're thinking of should i go with this or maybe for some of you this could be an element wherein you want to bring more love into your life and you don't know how or you're having a difficult time manifesting or receiving some form of love um despite the fact that um you you tend to to do a lot of effort in reaching your goal you know it's like it's like a person who who does everything to be appreciated to be loved and you know and wanting to receive something from the universe or from the people that they are connected with however this is an element wherein you know i i do all the work by myself but i'm not getting anything in return so it has that form of energy uh, that we are seeing over here uh, where this is going we have the queen of wands the world card and the six of cups which is a very wonderful energy i would say this is like giving us some form of good news maybe uh, once you you know start forgiving or you are going to um bringing the new energy of the ace of cups which is unions partnerships alliances there's some form of great energy into that um i would say that this gives us a form of success triumph those kinds of energies like the successful and endeavors so um you know in in a personal situation or career this could be a situation wherein you might be collaborating with someone and things are you know happening in a very positive state of mind and this can also be a situation wherein you know um even though things are not really very affectionate or anything like that because uh, we are not really seeing you being overly happy about your situation. But at the same time, we do see that there is some form of coming together or at the very least some form of good news comes into your love life, into your situation. So this could be a rekindling aspect, you know, in terms of love or feeling some form of love which you had in the past, you know. I just cannot ignore the fact that, you know, there are things that you are closing your eyes on. But I also don't want you to focus too much on the things that you don't have and don't want in your life. Um, um, I think that my main point here is that you should be more fair with how you see things. Like, like for me it's okay to love someone you know to love someone and all of that but it's not entirely okay to allow someone to abuse you for example or it's not entirely okay to to let someone step over you and ignore it you know 
so um i'm sure not every virgo people are going to experience this but yeah i'm just saying <laughs> there we we're not really seeing any form of negativity negativity to that uh that that is just my own comment on my own i just see you glossing over certain things and not bad at all because we do see that you know you are going to gloss over things but things are still going to get better you know i just kind of feel that yes you are glossing over things for the sake of keeping the relationship or getting the relationship going for the sake of peace and harmony so that things get better again but um i feel that this kind of mindset of th this kind of uh thought pattern will lead you to to difficulty later on especially within yourself because uh you're not going to be happy with that at the end of the day so and what we have over here at the outcome is the seven of pentacles the two of pentacles and the six of swords now this could be a situation we're in um there could be some form of frustration in the air and you might make a decision to take action or do some form of movement regarding the situation so for example you know for example like what i've mentioned earlier about you glossing over things and you're still not happy about the relationship this could be an element we're in yeah you're still going to be frustrated at the end you know you're you've done everything to keep the relationship alive and and to be with that person adjusting yourself doing everything for them but we're seeing here that you are not going to be entirely happy or at the very least there's going to be some form of confusion and frustration that you are going to be feeling and i kind of feel that this brings a lot of um up and down emotions to you you know you will be ending up thinking overthinking deciding you know you have a lot of pros and cons in your mind should i do this should i do that should i leave this relationship behind or should i move on there's a constant push and pull kind of energy we're seeing over here with the six of swords i kind of feel that this is an element wherein you are going to be making a decision and you are for some of you maybe i'm not saying everyone you are going to remove yourself from the relationship maybe or this could be a situation wherein you are going to decide to maybe confront someone or you know to leave this muddy waters behind so when i say that you know i don't mean you leaving a relationship literally but um you are leaving a difficult situation of a relationship and moving into a more calmer um, situation at hand so it makes me feel that this is just about you trying to forget things like i said earlier the energy that we're really picking picking up um this month for you is really not about solving problems or anything of sort this is about you glossing over things and what do i mean by glossing over things it's like you're not really victorious that things are better again you know that for example you have made made up with your partner it's not because that you have made up with your partner it is because you choose to make up with them even though they did not really apologize or anything of sort they know they did not really try to work things out with you you're just doing it for the sake of you know to keep the relationship um with that and i would say that you know externally maybe this is okay this is okay to keep the relationship even though you're not happy even though you are frustrated deep inside of you i just kind of feel that you know this is the energy that we are you're coming across you are trying to be with someone um connect that relationship unify with a particular person in your life even though that deep inside there is some something that is really uns unsatisfying to you and i think that you are making a decision that 
it is much more important for me to be with this person rather than to to resolve my my happiness and issues in life you know it's like maybe for some of you you are choosing to be with them even though that there are still some pain inside of you inside of your heart because being without them is much more difficult so i hope you guys are seeing <laughs> um the, the correlation and how i am explaining things because sometimes it's really hard to explain things so um at the end of the day i kind of feel for some of you there is going to be a sense of a sense of conflict or defeating kind of energy but at the same time you are sacrificing yourself sacrificing things for the sake of a bigger goal so i think that that is really the main the main point of this reading for a lot of your girls this is really more about sacrificing something for the sake of something else um type of energy maybe you are at the point wherein you are going to be taking a look on the bigger picture of life you know what is the bigger outcome you know it is uh, sometimes you know sometimes we people tend to get really confused to doing what's right and you know the right and wrong about love dating and relationships i mean let's get real here if you are in a relationship and you know even though that may be um you're not happy about that relationship but at the same time you also cannot live life without that person obviously he would not do anything to break up with that person because at the end of the day you do not want to lose them i'm not saying that is right or wrong but um at the end of the day uh, i think that people or humans um make decisions that is realistic for them and it is something that people can accept or people can't accept you know um i personally would say to a lot of you go that you know regardless what other people think of you or the situation that you're in regardless what your friends we will be advising you um about the situation that you are in the relationship that you are in i kind of feel at the end th at the end of the day you need to follow your heart you need to follow your own beliefs because um it's better to regret something you you did yourself rather than doing something because of the advice of another person and regretting it your entire life So it's like that that moment we're in I'd rather blame myself if I'm the one who did the mistake for example you know if I'm the one who broke up with my boyfriend for example and uh, and I end up regretting that I'd rather blame myself <laughs> why did I break up with him you know rather than you know because I gave in to the peer pressure of my friends, my colleagues or whatever. They keep telling me to break up with this person and, and I end up breaking up with them and then, you know, I just kind of feel that it's very um unrealistic to do because it's not really something that you have decided yourself. So, uh regardless what other people think right now. I feel that you Virgo should make a decision for yourself. You know, even though people might say that you are a martyr or, you know, you, you don't have any any pride or people might tell you that, you know, you don't have any backbone to fight back, to get your power back and all all those information yeah, 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 yeah. Um I I think that it's better to take action that we personally have decided upon and it is something that we really feel within our heart rather than you know being pushed to make decisions because of another person so again if you want to gloss over uh, a certain situation or an attitude of a person who is doing you wrong for the sake of keeping that relationship okay 
do it. I'm not saying that is the right decision. And I'm not saying you are going to be happy with that. Um, but it is your own process. It is your own story. And your experience and learnings, the things that you are going to be learning in that relationship is something you have to go through yourself you know and eventually you are going to learn from mistakes and eventually you cannot re keep repeating this process you know you cannot keep glossing over the situation because i kind of feel even though you keep repeating that there is going to be one day at one point that you are going to blow up you know and eventually things things will happen in the way that they are meant to so if you keep, you know, this is like a situation wherein you keep trying to escape reality over and over again, there will be a point wherein, you know, reality will look for you no matter what you do, no matter how much running you do, basically. So what we have over here is that there is a possibility to, to have some form of union, and some form of happiness into the situation um, especially if you guys had some form of difficulty in falling apart in terms of your love life and relationship i don't want to repeat the things that i've already mentioned what we have over here is that we have here things are finally progressing it's yeah did i read it right things are finally progressing it's finally falling into place so there's going to be some form of opportunities right there. We have emotional fulfillment and smokes. Now, the smoke card is basically an element of fogginess. So so basically, um, you know, everything that I've mentioned here is is something that is related to to these three cards as well. So when we have the smoke that is, you know, a signal for stress a signal for frustration also this could be an element wherein there is some form of confusion and something maybe unhealthy is going on right there like yeah you're happy that you are with that person again you're happy that you were able to keep that relationship you're happy that maybe peace has been restored in the relationship you know and peace being restored in the relationship is different sometimes with peace that you have within yourself so um this the smoke card can be a, a very unsatisfying factor um that we need to take into consideration it could be also something that you need to sort out in the relationship so maybe there is something that's not clear in the relationship i personally think that if you guys are going to be able to fix the relationship this month um this is a point where in you cannot keep repeating the same thing you know once you actually fix the relationship i feel that it's important to address the things that has caused you some form of confusion you know the things that you are unaware of the things that you are unsure of and be able to really speak it up and have some form of clarity within that relationship so that things eventually get better and you know there's going to be great understanding between you and your partner rather than keeping everything in your heart and keeping everything in yourself because that is just going to cause you non-stop worries non-stop confusion in your mind so with our twin flame notes we have here that i'll be back please wait for me and i'm happy you're in my life right now however in the last card of the deck we have over here the i am filled with regrets so this is basically um a typical situation we're in you know someone left you and then they came back again but at the same time there is still some form of energies that um is causing you some form of angst um type of scenario as well uh, this could also be a situation wherein um, someone decide, decides that they don't want to be with that person again, but at the same time, they still really, really want to be with that person. Um, so it's basically that that uh, situation where I told you that um, if you don't want to leave a person, if you don't want to break up with a person, you, you, don't, you, you cannot tell them that let's break up. You know, that's just so weird. 
<laughs> you know, I, and I know a lot of girls do that, especially during their teen years. You know, they will they have the habit of telling their their guys, their boyfriends to let's just break up, thinking that the other person is going to run for them. But a uh, reality is not all guys do that. So for some people, this could be the thing. This could be the issue. So over here, we have here the journey card, distant horizon, and high honor. So this is going to be a very, uh, really more of a confirmation. I would say we're in, where, what is it that you really want out of your love life, out of your relationship as a whole? And this is about you um, taking a, a look in a wider scale in the big picture uh, what are the things that you really want you know do you want a relationship with that specific person or do you just want a relationship um that you are going to be happy about a relationship with someone that is going to love you respect you and do everything for you um i kind of feel that this is really more about you making a decision in terms of your love life based upon your values and your heart um and what you truly want in your in your love life in your dating life in your relationship as a whole so and this is about you re really pushing forward you know and doing things that actually fits um fits the scenario of your goals and the things that you want in the relationship so like i said earlier if you um it's like it's really so hard to explain <laughs> but this is really more of a situation where in you know definitely there is some form of sacrifice but at the same time you're looking at the you're looking at things in bird's eye view basically on on the situation at hand you know there will be things that you need to accept there will be things that you need to leave behind i would say because you have a greater goal you know so this is going to be highly dependent on what it is that you truly want out of love what it is that you truly want out of relationship and you are going to go ahead and do them and i would say that for for a lot of virgos um this could be also an, an element and time wherein there's going to be you know confusion wherein i want this i want this type of relationship i want this this type of guy in my life but you know it's like choosing between a and b and you cannot seem to move forward because you keep going back and forth back and forth so i kind of feel that you know this is you um not hesitating anymore um but making a decision about what are the things that you can fight for what are the things that you are willing to fight for and what are the things that you might just need to let go of and forget about you know i'm not saying that's a person it could be a certain scenario or situation about your specific relationship i mean who knows right this is just a general reading anyway anyways um this is my reading for you guys virgo this is something that you might need to contemplate about because um at the end of the day um yes you are going to be fixing the relationship many of you will be able to rekindle some form of love but rekindling is just a step one process will you be able to keep it will the relationship get better that is another issue at hand and i kind of feel that is something that you will need to delve deep um, within this month and there's going to be a lot of answers and realizations that comes with it and if you don't learn your own lessons or if you don't try to change things up you know history will repeat itself and yeah uh each one of you will have your own story with that anyways thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me this is chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com and if you want a more personal reading specifically done for you and your own situation 
I do offer my reading services on my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and some of my services are also written down below the description of this video. You can take a look on that. By the way, I also have my Facebook group uh, which I teach readings and astrology. If you do want to join, the link is also down below the description of this video. And um yeah, I'll see you guys again next month. See you soon. Bye.